we are going to find the interquartile range of these four data sets. Together, they will show us every possible situation we could encounter when finding the interquartile range. This first example has 11 data points. That's an odd set, which means there will be a number right in the middle. We have to start by finding that middle number, the median, which is right there. And we basically split the data into a lower half and an upper half. In this case, our data was already sorted, but if your data is not sorted, you got to make sure to do that first. Now, the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. Q1 is the median of the lower half of data. Looking at our lower half, we can see the median is the number in the middle, which is 3. Q3 is the median of the upper half of data. Looking at our upper half, the median is the number in the middle, which is 12. So the interquartile range is 12 minus 3, so... Nine. In this example, we have nine data points, so again, there's a number right in the middle. Our median is eight, so we split the data at the median into a lower half and an upper half. In this example, both of the halves have an even number of data points. So to find Q1, the median of the lower half of data, we have to take the average of the two numbers in the middle. 3 and 4 are in the middle, and their average, or the number halfway between them, is 3.5. For Q3, we take the average of the two numbers in the middle of the upper half of data, or the number that's halfway between the two numbers in the middle. The average of 11 and 14 is 12.5. So the interquartile range is 12.5 minus 3.5, which is 9. In this example, we have 10 data points, so we can split the data evenly into a lower half and an upper half. Five numbers in the bottom, five numbers in the top. Then the first quartile is the median of the lower half of data, which is the number in the middle, which is four. The third quartile is the median of the upper half of data, which is the number in the middle, which is 11. So the interquartile range is 11 minus four, or Seven. Finally, the last situation you may encounter, here we have eight data points, so we can split the data again cleanly. We have four in the bottom, four on the top. So now we can't find an exact middle number, we'll have to take averages for the quartiles. The first quartile is the average of the two numbers in the middle of the bottom half of data. That's one and one, the average of one and one is 1. The third quartile is the average of the two numbers in the middle of the upper half of the data. The average of 5 and 6 is 5.5. So the interquartile range is Q3, which is 5.5, minus Q1, which is 1, so 4.5. That's how to deal with every possible different situation that you might encounter when finding the interquartile range of a data set by hand. Make sure you order the data first, though, before you do this stuff. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my statistics course and statistics exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.